roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a love Life is happy but it's so insane Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sharon. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning back, I'm really grateful. I post videos of cleaning, cooking, organizing, and homemaking videos once a week on Sundays. And today we are having a homemaking video, and today we are doing my living room. So this is the before of our living room. We have taken our carpet for a wash, so we are using this one in the meantime. So I'm going to show you around, and this is how my living room has been in for a while now and this is going to change we're going to start by uh, painting the walls and also changing some deco and adding more stuff in here Lions gone and come The birds have just begun We will always take a step So the first thing I did was remove the paintings and these photographs from the wall first. So I had to use a hammer to remove the nails which we had used to uh, hang these uh, photographs and as you can see it really spoiled the wall so I'm going to uh, fill these walls first, fill the holes first before I start doing the painting. So to fill the holes I'm going to use this filler and mix it with water until, until I get a very good uh, thick consistency Put in the hole and flatten it well, leave it to dry and then come and paint it later So as that is drying up, I'm going to start now painting and I have these two types of paints. We have the undercoat and the top coat. So I'm going to start with the undercoat and paint every part which is stained and has dirt or written. And then now come back later when it's dry with the top coat. Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah, we'll never be alone. So this was my first time doing a painting job and I would say it's not hard at all, you can always do it and I can recommend that just get the paint and do it yourself instead of paying someone, it's really therapeutic and it's really good for you. Also it's a form of workout so I could recommend that you can do it, I really love the process and you will see in a moment now when I put the top coat how it came out really well. Lions gone and come The birds have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Savannah, I'm coming on 
if you are new here or you have not subscribed i would really have you to subscribe and join the family i also have other videos of cleaning cooking and also a kitchen makeover which i did last week please make sure you catch you catch up on those videos and leave me a comment what do you think about them hours later the painting is done the wall is now looking very uniform and clean it was really satisfying to see this come out well So once the painting was done, it was time to tackle this flower. I'm now going to add some soil to this flower and then clean the vase well and put it in the other corner of my house. So basically what I did was to remove all the stones and then remove the moss, add more, add more soil and then just return everything back, clean it and put it at the corner which, where I wanted it to be. So I'll try and link all the places I got the stuff on a description box. Please check it out before asking on the comments. I'll really try and link everything down.
So it's the next day and we are, today we are going to start with the DIY uh, mirror and we are going to use a box mirror, a glue and some beads and uh, you can use any type of a mirror, it can be round or it can be square, just make a shape on the box and then put the beads around, spray them and uh, put your mirror in the middle. So in my case I use this contour glue and uh, these beads, you, can, you will see how it came out later. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher. So this is a very simple DIY, you can do it at home, please try it, it was really simple and uh, you can just follow the steps, you can use any type of a mirror, any shape and uh, if you can try it and you get it, please let me know in the comment how it goes, also I'd love to do more DIY videos for you guys, so if, if you'd love to see more videos, let, please let me know in the comments as well. We always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Cause you never show in my case, I use the black spray paint to make this mirror DIY But you can use any other color of your choice Don't wanna know I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy So once our spray paint is dry, we're just going to put the mirror back and that's it. So I get by. I just wanna be happy. The next thing I did was to spray paint all these tins and this uh, blue tray as well so that I can use it in the house for my deco. And what I can say when you are doing your makeover, you can always repurpose or re reuse what you have in the house so that it can save you a lot on cost. And for example, all these things, I'm just reusing them. No, nothing was bought. One last try. Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times. Now I'm all alone. Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how it goes Don't wanna know I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy Happy tonight so while our tins were drying, our carpet was now back home, all cleaned and looking really nice. It was time to put it back and what I did was just remove everything so that it could be easy for me to put it because I was alone. Happy 
So the first thing I did was just vacuum around the house to remove any dust and then put the carpet in. It's a lie. Now I'm all alone. Cause you never show. You say you will. But then you don't. So on the third day of the makeover, I was really excited because uh, the things which I had ordered from our carpenter were now ready. This uh, flower holder, the coffee table and these two accent seats, they really came out clean. I was really happy because they did a very good job. Morning sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. So I was really happy and excited because of this uh, flower holder. It came out really well and I made sure that I decorated it before going to bed. And these are the tins which I was spraying earlier outside and you can see now th where they have come in handy. We must merely make a so So the fourth and the last day for my makeover was now doing the decorating and putting together all the deco. I was really happy and excited and I started by putting these animal print uh, uh, prints behind my seat as you can see. So I got these animal prints at MRP because they were having a, a sale on them and it was a, a really good deal and I really love them. So I'd really love to know in the comments, can you put animal prints on your house? Please let me know. Light's gone and come. The birds have just begun. We will always take a step. So to hand these animal prints and the wall gallery which I'm going to create later as you will see I'm using this nano tape which is a heavy sided tape which I got it at Leanne Collections on Instagram. It's really good because you cannot drill the, the wall or use nails. And it So despite the fact that I didn't have the right materials to measure or make sure that they are aligned well, I was just swinging it and they really came out really nice. You will love the outcome of this one. So the final package which came from my carpenter is this uh, entryway table. And as you can see, this was my table which was in the kitchen earlier. As I, I told you guys earlier, please repurpose or reuse the things which you have in your house to save on the cost. So this was the table which I had in the kitchen. It was just cut into, into half and this is how it came out. So this is the layout of the, uh, of the wall gallery which I want to create on top of this table. So I've just laid them out and organized them so that it can guide me when putting them up. 
So to hang and create this gallery, I'm using the nano tape which I told you guys earlier. It's really good because it's firm and everything looks really nice. So the the outcome was really good. So the last and the interesting part of this makeover is now putting everything down and arranging all the deco and it was really nice. I hope you enjoy and learn from it. I'm also still learning from the process so please let me know in the comments which was your favorite part and I love also to see what you can see you can do in your houses. Please tag me on my Instagram. I'm going to leave my link here as well. So before I show you the final reveal, I'm now going to show you the before of my room. I just back a little bit, think about how this room was looking, see how this room was looking before the final transformation. And now this is the after of the makeover. Everything came out really nice. It came out very well. The colors coordinated well. The makeover was good. The flowers fitted everywhere well. Yeah, everything which I had planned in my head came out well. Please let me know what was your favorite part. And I would really love you to join the family if you haven't subscribed. And uh, thank you so much for watching this far. And as always, let's keep our homes clean. And I'll see you all in my next video. Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how it goes Don't let it go I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy Happy tonight